As technology improves, so too does the field of medicine, where innovative tech has led to major medical advances. But doctors and medical professionals need to learn and train on these new technologies to be better equipped to help their patients, all of us. That's where 3D Systems, formerly known as Symbionics, comes in. They provide simulation, training and education solutions for medical professionals and the healthcare industry, essentially saving lives worldwide. And here to tell us more about it is Ariel Ben Moshe, Director of Research and Development at 3D Systems. Welcome. Hi, Lidar. So let's jump right in. Tell me about 3D Systems. What exactly do you do? Okay, so I'm the R&D director for the Symbionics product division within 3D Systems. We develop uh, surgical simulators to train surgeons on performing complex life-saving surgeries. Uh, the basic concept of our product is very similar to professional flight simulator that we all know today. Um, these are human-like mannequins uh, that allow a virtual environment for a surgeon to take an actual surgical tool and practice their hands-on performing of a surgery. Um, in a virtually controlled environment, uh, he can make mistakes, he can learn from his mistake, he doesn't hurt any patients mm -hmm. in the process. So let's talk about this field, sort of the training that's involved. We often mm -hmm. hear about doctors going to medical schools, but there's so much more beyond that. Yeah. Um, so within their training, um, doctors, they learn a lot... Um, um, they, they learn a lot of knowledge, but they also need to practice their skill. They need to master their hand-eye coordination, the maneuvers, um, taking complex decisions in a stressful situation. Uh, this is where the simulator uh, comes in. Um, we integrate uh, innovative technologies from the field of computer graphics, physical simulation, robotics, uh, manufacture dedicated hardware, and build a completely virtual environment which gives the surgeon the ability to hands-on practice the, mm -hmm. the surgical step. He can cut, he can stitch, he can implant a medical device within a patient. The patient can bleed, mm -hmm. okay? Um, a life-threatening uh, scenario may occur and he needs to respond and treat it. So I'm curious, how long does it typically take to train a surgeon, a doctor, on a new piece of equipment? Okay, so our simulators uh, provide many hours of training scenarios. Okay, um, because a surgeon um, can repeat the same training scenario over and over and constantly learn from his mistakes, but he can, but, but he will also need to be exposed to uh, new scenarios all the time. Mm -hmm. um, we also provide a platform which allows the um, the very um, experienced physician to bring the very rare case, which you know you may encounter once in a career, mm -hmm. uh, to every young surgeon and let them be prepared. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us a little about the history of the company? Because this is a fascinating field. Yeah. So uh, Symbionics is an Israeli star was an Israeli startup that was founded in the late 90s mm -hmm. uh, here in the Tel Aviv area. And uh, it's, uh, it's a world leading company today. Um, with thousands of simulators across the globe. Basically, every well-respected uh, uh, medical institute in the world have our simulators and train his surgeons on it on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. um, five years ago, we were acquired by 3D Systems, and, and we are now integrated into the healthcare services division. Mm -hmm. And who are your clients today? You mentioned that you're in pretty much, is it hospitals, is it uh, universities, where are you physically located? Yeah, so we are actually everywhere. Okay, our clients are hospitals, training centers, a university which u university institutes which deals with uh, a medical training and the medical device companies they, themselves. Today, when a new med when a medical device company uh, wants to introduce into the market a new device. Um, it needs to provide a training solution, mm -hmm. okay? And instead of building a training curriculum for surgeons on actual patients, which none of us wants to be a part of, <laughs> okay? Of um, they approach us and say, please introduce the new medical device and the new surgery into your simulator, and we want to use it to train surgeons. So medical device companies come to you with a new product, mm -hmm. and then you have to sort of develop the curricula yeah. for the simulator. Yeah, that's the, the job of, of my teams. And, and my department, we use the virtual reality, augmented reality, and all of our complex technologies and build a new medical device into the simulator. Mm -hmm. And as more and more medical advances are being made, more sort of medical devices are introduced, where do you see the future of this? So I believe a, a full immersive experience of training 
is the future of medical training. Um, and we actually deal with that today. We use virtual reality technologies, which brings not only the, the, the small surgical area within the human body, but the whole operating theater into, uh, into the, the practicing scenarios. So a surgeon uh, does not only need to master the surgical skill today, mm -hmm. but he also needs to take complex decision when he gets interfered by the nurse. Okay, or when something happens with the anesthesiologist yeah. in the operating theater, because everything affects the patient outcome. And we want to prepare the surgeons as best as possible to those scenarios. Absolutely. Yeah. Life-saving technology. Yeah. Aliel Ben Moshe, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Yeah. Thank you. And that's all the time we have for today's show. I'd like to thank the amazing startups who joined us. And remember to like us on Facebook at Israel English News, on Twitter at ILTV News, and visit us on our website at ILTV.TV. I'm Nadar Gavelazi. Thanks for watching.